researchers are looking sure thing. into a new study from the National Institutes of Health that finds that COVID can spread to the entire body within days and stay in the heart, the brain, and other organs for as long as eight months. This is what you've heard some experts refer to as long COVID. And there's still so much to learn about long COVID symptoms and impact. Let's discuss now with Dr. Ziad Al-Ali. He's Chief of Research and Development at the VA St. Louis Healthcare System in Missouri. Uh, doctor, um, this is study has not been peer reviewed yet, but you've called this remarkably important work. Explain what the long-term effects of COVID are and how vulnerable the general population is to, to getting it. What we've known for, for some time now, first of all, thank you for having me. What we've known for some time is that a lot of people after they quote unquote recover from the acute COVID, that's the first 30 days of COVID or the first 30 days of infection, they go on, some of them go on to develop, uh, you, know, you know, continued weakness or lingering fatigue, brain fog. We've also found that, that people are coming down with new onset kidney disease, diabetes, and heart disease. What this study from NIH is telling us is that the, this virus that we thought of as a respiratory virus, as a lung virus, or a respiratory inf produces a respiratory infection, is really more of a systemic virus that affects nearly every organ in the body. So wh wherever they looked, they looked at the brain, they looked at the lung, the pancreas, the kidneys, and the liver, there was evidence of damage in those organs. There was actually evidence of lingering virus weeks and months after the initial infection in, in, in those organs. Uh, in, in terms of like who really you know, uh, is at risk of long COVID, it, it can affect nearly everybody. It, it can affect, as you, you know, in the point out in the earlier segment, it can affect children, it can affect adults, it can affect you know, older adults, affect males and females. So really nobody is spared the effect of long COVID.